Hi guys, welcome back to MSK Yanmer or MSK Online Store. Today, I will teach you step by step on how to repair or rebuild or repack your faulty electric scooter battery pack. Um, this video is uh, composed of, um, I can say, eight, eight segments or eight major parts. Um, it starts with uh, removal of the wrapping and nickel plates. Second one is the cleaning and grinding of the 18650 cells. So it's somehow um, preparation for of the 18650 cells. Third one is the capacity test. Fourth one, the voltage check, which is one of the most important one. This voltage check and the capacity test, the, the difference, I mean the time duration between these two is two weeks. Yes, two weeks. Later, I will explain you more about it. Uh, fifth one is the resistance check. Sixth one is the sorting and grouping of our um, old 18650 cells. Seven is the spot welding. And the final one is the soldering and the final assembly. All right, so let's go. All right, for the, pairs, for the first one, the removal of wrapping and nickel plate and old BMS, um, I already have video on, on that. So just click on this link on your upper right corner. Yeah, that one. So that's the uh, first one. Next one is the cleaning and grinding and the preparation of our 18650 cells. I also have that video here. You can see it here again on your right side topmost. All right. And then next one is the capacity test. The capacity test is this one. Hi guys. Buddy, ito yung temporary charging station ko. Ito rin yung temporary um, station ko para sa capacity test. Okay. So, dito, ito yung mga cell ko galing to sa, sa mga lumang electric scooter din. So, yung mga may hina na, na battery pack. So, ino-open ko yun. Tapos, kinukuha ko yung mga cell. Tinatanggal ko yung mga nickel plate. Yan, nililinis. Tapos, after nyan, i-check natin kung, kung okay pa yung capacity niya or hindi. etong layer na to, eto mga hindi pa ito nakakapacity test. Ito naman. Um, na capacity test na to yeah, yeah, meron na siyang yan, meron na siyang sulat so yan yung capacity niya 1674 mAh ito naman, uh, na capacity test na rin to, at the same time, full charge na to um, after ko ma-full charge, normally iniiwan ko yan ng at least um, 2 weeks tapos uh, naka-full charge sa, sa 4.2 volts after nun, kapag after 2 weeks kapag hindi siya nag-drop ng sobra-sobra, siguro mga around 4.1 okay pa yun para sa akin. So depende yan, no? iba-iba yung iba-ibang iba use, iba-ibang um, tolerance, okay? Tapos of course, ito yung ating Lito Kala Engineer LII 500 pang capacity test natin. Yan. So, ngayon, nagka-capacity test tayo. North test. Yan. Okay. So, yan. Marami yan. I have six of them. Yan. Nagka-capacity test lahat yan ngayon. At the same time, habang nagka-capacity test ako, kapag medyo napansin ko na medyo sobrang init nung cell, chichik ko yan kung... Um, di pa natin to sa surface. Oops. Wait, ha? Ipat natin sa surface and then yan. So kapag napansin ko na medyo mainit, uh, i-double check ko yan. So para sa akin kapag more than 50 50 degrees Celsius na, inaalis ko na. Kasi sobrang init na nun para sa isang battery cell para sa akin na. Although ang operating um temperature nito is around um, normally maximum 70 ano, you know? pero Depende pa rin sa tolerance nyo yun, ano, saka sa practice ng bawat isa. Okay, so syempre meron tayong tester after natin ma-full charge. Test natin kung talagang na-full charge siya. Okay, so yan yung capacity tester. 
So, actually, after capacity test, inaalis ko na agad siya kapag nakita ko na meron na siyang uh, meron na siyang MAH tapos nag-end na siya dito. Aalisin ko na siya kasi up, sa north test, after mag-end nung capacity test, i-charge niya ngayon yung cell. So, inaalis ko na siya doon. Dito ko na siya nililipat sa normal charger. Okay? Tapos, after nun, maglalagay ulit ako ng panibagong cell dito sa sa Litokala LII 500. Okay. So, eto mga, see? Eto mga nakapacity test ko na to. Natapos na to ng North test. May mga, may mga number na. MAH yan. Milliampere R. So, yan yung capacity nila sa ngayon. Okay? So, etong mga 1 for actually mababa na to. As much as possible, sana at least 1.5 pataas, ano? Pero may mapaggagamitan pa rin tayo nyan. Okay, tulad nito, 2.160. I guess, itong battery na to or itong cell na to ang uh, capacity nyan dati is uh, 2,200 mAh. Wala kasi siyang label. Okay, so hindi ko rin makita sa datasheet kung ilan siya. Alright. So, ayan, dami pa tayong ikakapacity test dito. Ito, may LG MJ1 tayo dito. Ayan, ito, 3.5 to. Ayan, LG MJ1. So, ito, magandang cell to. Mahal, malaki yung capacity, 3,500 mAh. Okay? So, ayan yung ating temporary charging station. <laughs> Wala pa yung wall ko eh. Hindi ko pa natatapos. So, pag natapos yun, lahat yan ilalagay ko sa wall para para madali. Yung tipong nandiyan sa wall, tapos lagay-lagay ka lang. Pag ganito kasi medyo mahirap pa. Well, anyway, yeah, th thanks for um, watching this um, short clip. Okay? Sasama ko ito dun sa, sa sa battery pack uh, Yes, we are on our fourth segment, which is the voltage check. In the voltage check, um, we will just do it after two weeks from the capacity test, okay? Once all the cells has been capacity tested and then fully charged, we will, we will just uh, let it on standby for like minimum two weeks. That, that's one of my criteria. You can make it longer, like... 3 weeks or 4 weeks but I think uh, 2 weeks is enough um, so that you can check whether the the charge will hold its state and uh, the, the criteria or the passing criteria is at least um, because the full charge of this is 4.2 ideally when it is new or yeah that's the ideal one but the, the passing criteria or my practice is at least 4.0 volts. If it can hold voltage for at least 2 weeks without dropping below 4 volts, it's okay for me. Alright, it can be different from others, but in in my practice, uh, 4 volts is okay for me. So what will we do now is just get your multimeter or the voltmeter and then we will just test it one by one. And when you, when you see... Um, Four bolts and below, just just leave it aside first, okay? So we will get those um, four bolts and above. All right, so it's just simply like this. All right, Lina, can you see? Yep. All right, good. All right, four eleven, four thirteen. I think it's better if you have some light yeah better 406 407 414 403 410 414 407 but by, by the way those those numbers over here they are the capacity in milliampere r all right so 411 413 okay Seems all good. 4.12, 4.10. I hope we can get um, those like below 4 or at least 3 volts. Oh, see this one. We have, oh no, 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 sorry. Uh, 
413. I hope you can get uh, a lower value. Let's see. Try more. 405. I think that's the lowest so far. Oh. 412. 413. 412. 14. 12. 13. Alright, I put it here. Can you see the reading? Yeah. 413. 13. 13. Looks good. <laughs> 410 410 413 412 410 409 406 that's one of the lowest 412 11 406 413 13 401 Alright, we have 401 here. Looks like this is the lowest one that we got right now. 403, 406, 413, 15, 08, 13, 02. Alright. Okay, I'll make it um, 402 over there. 10, 12, 10, 12, 0, 8, 0, 8, 11, 10, 0, 8. Okay, um, looks good. Everything looks good. Anyway, uh, I just keep in mind these two cells, 401 and 402 volts. The main reason um, uh why i don't want these two cells or those lower ones to combine with those uh, big ones is because these two might um might uh, might pull the the other cells to discharge faster okay so that's why um uh we need to check and you know um one by one to see really which are the cells that are really not not so good in condition i can say all right so after this uh video test oh sorry this <laughs> this voltage check we will go on to our fifth fifth test or the fifth segment which is the okay i'll make it um, so it won't Alright, so we will go to the fifth one, which is the resistance check. The resistance check is being done using this tester. This is a battery analyzer or the resistance checker. So the model is SM8124A. Okay, this is about um, uh, 1000 bucks or 2000 bucks. I forgot. Anyway, uh, I can put the link uh, of the Shopee link or let's add the link below so that if you want to purchase it just check that link out okay so just put it uh the first switch put it in the middle uh you can see the ohms uh symbol there and then for the below one you put it on the two two thousand milli ohms okay so the passing criteria for this um uh, we must read at least 100 milli ohms and below. If it is 100 and above, so the internal resistance of the battery um, is a little bit high and th that's out of our passing criteria. That's the normal practice. It should be allow around 100 or below. Okay? So, it's a simple one. It's like a multimeter or a voltmeter. Just put it um all right there you just put it on the positive and the negative side okay we have 81 66 okay sometimes um I, I need to write the internal resistance reading in every cell but um that's that's too much i guess <laughs> 
as long as um, the value is less than 100 so just go on to the next one all right okay 48 actually um without without testing the internal resistance or before testing the internal resistance, when you are doing the capacity test, you can notice that if the cell internal resistance is high, the temperature will go as uh, very high, like um, 60 degrees and above. Okay, so this one is 111. So I can put it aside first. All right. So the internal resistance is a little bit high. Although it's uh, in, in, in about the boundary case. But let's see. So we just finish this out. One oh seven, okay. Set it aside. Let's go on one one on five, so that's too much. 75, 47, 53, mm -hmm. 47, 92, still okay, 52, although the Litokala Li500, you can see the internal resistance reading also, uh, milli ohms, but um, for me it's not so accurate uh, for that uh, capacity tester. So I, I think this is uh, more more accurate. This this battery analyzer. Okay. Doing good so far. All right. Okay. 55. Okay. Getting half. Halfway. 60. Okay. I, I move it here a little bit. Uh huh. 54. Thirty-eight, thirty-five, sixty-nine, forty-eight. Oops, this a little bit high. I try again. Okay, make sure those uh, those terminals they are having a good contact with the positive and the negative side of your one eight six fifty cells. All right, so you won't have a uh, uh, a faulty reading or an error. All right, let's move it. Where am I? Okay, wait a. I put it here. <laughs> this is a little bit challenge. <laughs> Sixty nine. Okay, a little bit high again. Yes, about 200. Put it aside. 90, just nice. 61. 45. 70. 36. Uh, let me... Okay, because it's a little bit twisted on my side. All right, forty seventy nine. Okay, almost there. Hold on. <laughs> oh, yes, nice hundred. <laughs> okay, we'll move that out. <laughs> All right, last one, last column. <laughs> All right. 37 oops 107 try again 
it's really 107 sometimes if you see uh, more than 100 just to make it sure just test it again okay all right 90 almost there wow 106 all right 56 last three 48 94 almost <laughs> oops this is a little bit high 125 all right so yeah that's for the resistance check so once again the the tester that we use so uh, battery analyzer sm 8124a okay so turn off turn off okay so we left with these cells um quite number of this is the low voltage one <laughs> the 4.0 and 4.2 uh, and then we have this then and these are the ones with high internal resistance okay next one segment number six so in segment number six we need to arrange all of this from the highest um, capacity to the lowest one um, to the lowest one one four five five maybe this one uh, anyway we, we need to we need to sort it from the highest to lowest or from the lowest to highest so that in our next um, in our next uh, thing it would be easier for us to to do the grouping in the grouping we need to use the repacker.com website in order for us to repack or to group this um efficiently because it's not like um when you put it in parallel or when you put it in series you just get one or grab one and put it like that it's not it's not like that we need to group it efficiently correctly okay with the use of repacker.com uh, meanwhile we just count how many cells left this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay so 12 yes we have 12 all right 12 1 2 3 4 okay All right, we have 60 cells here, okay? For the 60 cells, actually our plan is to to build, to rebuild um, uh, a 48 volts battery pack. So if it is 48 volts, so we need 13 series times maybe like at least four parallel, so 52 cells. So we need at least 52 cells in order for us to make a 13s 4p battery pack okay so this is um how many 60 so we only need 52 so we will get the highest 52 cells here so the lowest eight we will just set it aside okay so to do it we need to sort it one by one okay we need to sort um, from the highest to the lowest okay so uh, at the end of the day that's our um, six segment or six part okay so to make it sort how to make it sorted easily so I can say get those two one okay two thousand all right two one four one so this is two one four one Okay, 2170, 2142, alright, yep, so from this point, I will, I will pass forward the video, <laughs> so that um, it won't take up too much of your time, okay?
Okay, finally, <laughs> after after six minutes of sorting, we arrived to this um, sorted from high to low. Okay, so these are the cells that has been sorted out. All right. So actually, I haven't finished sorted it out um, uh, correctly, but. Uh, okay, this is the highest one. So, again, uh, we have 60 cells and then we need to um, remove 8 of it, eight of this because we only need 52 cells, correct? Again, so we only need 52 cells for a 13S4P, a 48 volts battery pack, okay? So, the 8 lowest ones are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay? So, I will remove this 8. I, I will put it aside. All right. Okay. So, in this case, we will arrange it so that we can see the um the the capacity. Yes, here the capacity. Yeah. So later during the grouping, it will be easy for us to look one by one at the same time um <coughs> sorry <coughs> we need to arrange this because this um capacity or these numbers we need to input it in the website repacker.com after we input it we select um uh, well anyway after this sorting out um i will show you how to do it in the repacker.com all right so let me arrange this first All right, finally. <laughs> so from from the highest to the lowest. All right, our lowest is 14, 1477 and the highest is twenty one hundred seventy. Okay, so let's move on to our next um, segment. Actually, it's still the same segment. Segment six. The one that the one that we did right now is only sort from low to high okay next one is the grouping grouping using the repahar.com okay let's go to repahar.com hi guys so we are on our um still on the sixth segment of our um tutorial about battery pack rebuilding or repacking so we need to go this to this website repacker.com r e p a c k r dot com. Um, this website will help us to group um, the cells that we have been um, tested the capacity. Okay, so I already um, arranged it from highest to lowest capacity. Okay, what we will do now is we will just write this um, capacities or this value to the repacker.com okay so all right let's do this i click the repacker okay so comma separated list of cells capacities in milliampere r to be added to the packs okay so i will just all right let me let me type it over you should do it yeah, of course, one by one. All right, we're done. So we just need to check again one by one. All right, all good. So after that, um, just click this add cells. And then number of cells in series. 48 volts, so that's 13S and uh, number of cells in parallel, so four. Okay, so this one um, just fix, and then click this one, generate box. All right. Um, I click this one. Okay, so as you can see here. Um, our our total ampere hours is 7.4 ah or 7400 milliampere hour 
So, and this one is, uh, this is the grouping. So this is um, string one, string two. So we have 13 strings here. Okay, and then you can see we don't have unused cells here. So we use up all the cells, okay? Because we have um, 13 times four. Yeah, so we don't have any use unused cells here, okay? All right, so this is our guide for the grouping. Okay, so this is our um, uh, strings, I, I can say. So this is string one. You have four cells over here. And then you have string two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so we have thirteen S four P. Okay, so what we will do now, or what we will do next, is we will arrange the cells based on this um, configuration thirteen S four P. So the good thing here is when you when you get the twenty one forty one cell in the lease or in this in this um, um, arrangement you can just simply click it here so it will be easy for you to track whether you have get the the cells or not so once you get the 2141 click here once you get the 1977 click here and so on and so forth so this is very um, organized and I think this is very efficient so you won't um, able to commit any mistakes at all all right so yeah i will arrange it and see you on the next segment